Hey everyone, Jordan here from Team Protocase with another Proto Tech Tip. Today we're going to go over media blasting as a finish. Here at Protocase we offer fast and efficient CNC machining in whatever quantity you require. We're a one-stop shop for fully finished CNC machine parts because we offer several different finishing options in-house. One of those finishes is media blasting. We previously did a video that gave a high-level overview of the different CNC bare metal finish options. We've got a link to that video in the description below. Media blasting is one of our bare metal finish options. When I say bare metal finish, I mean that a CNC machine part doesn't have a secondary finish like powder coat applied to it. No finished CNC parts have no additional finishing processes applied, so you're going to get the part as it comes out of the machine. There will be visible tool mark patterns as well as possible scratches. Media blasting is a finish we can apply to create a uniform finish that removes the toolpath patterns as well as any scratches or blemishes. For media blasting, we first deburr and clean the part and then spray a steady stream of tiny glass beads via compressed air. The end result is a smooth, uniform finish that's flat and non-directional. Media blasting does an excellent job of removing tool marks and other scratches. Now let's talk constraints. The maximum part size that can fit within our media blasting cabinet is 16 inches by 24 inches by 16 inches. A part must have a minimum of at least one dimension that exceeds two inches. Smaller parts will not stand up to the air pressure that's being applied. This will likely result in the part being deformed or blown away. We can use work holds to help prevent small parts getting blown away, but it's not ideal, because wherever the part is being held in the work hold, that surface will not be blasted. For that reason, parts that are going to be media blasted should have at least one dimension that exceeds two inches. One caution on that, thin parts with a large surface area can experience some warpage. Our team can assess your design and provide you guidance on the chance of warpage. Media blasting is common for CNC parts, but sheet metal parts can be media blasted too. They need to fit within our maximum part size dimensions, of course. And to avoid warpage issues, you shouldn't media blast a large, thin sheet metal part. Small sheet metal parts look great. In terms of materials, media blasting is most commonly used for aluminum, but we can media blast stainless steel parts as well. We've also tested media blasting on copper parts, such as copper bus bars. The end result looks very bright and sophisticated, but two very important things to note. For one, your media blasted copper parts will eventually corrode. Secondly, media blasted copper is very prone to fingerprints and smudges, so it's best to handle those parts with protective gloves. And actually, on that note, it's worth mentioning that media blasted parts that don't have an additional finish process, such as anodizing or chemical film conversion, can easily be smudged with fingerprints. For this reason, I'd recommend handling media blasted parts with protective gloves all the time. Let's talk graphics and marking. We can apply either silkscreen or digital print graphics on your media blasted parts, so long as it's a flat surface. Laser marking is also an excellent option for permanent marking because it looks so slick and offers a lot of flexibility. For a very basic budget conscious permanent marking option on media blasted parts, rubber stamping would be your best bet. If you would like more information on CNC milling or turning, be sure to check out our website. We put some direct links in the description below. If you've got a design you want machined quickly with the exact finish you require, contact us to be connected with your Protocase account manager. Thanks for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip. Stay tuned for more videos in our machining series and be sure to tune in next week for another Proto Tech Tip.